Hey guys, welcome back. Today, I'll be playing Jupiter's Tower of Hell. And I'll show you Tower of Another Beginning. Let's get straight into it. I am in zone 1 right now, that's where you spawn. You go to the main one in ring 1 and then outside there should be a portal that goes to zone 1. So, you follow this sign where it says beginner towers over here. Uh, it takes a little bit of time. But you follow it and to the right of here there's a practice obby so you can go do that. And here's the beginner towers. And here is tower of another beginning. Boop. 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 One sec. Yeah, there we go. Welcome to the Tower of Another Beginning. This tower is very easy, but will introduce new mechanics as you progress. So we just head across these big, big things. Big things, yes. And then you head sideways on these twisty ones. You can go like this, and then on top of them, then the spinners you can just run across there like that then you head in here and you can skip part Ugh, I'm horrible at that skip but you can skip to there uh, let me just go back Alright, so these are the wobbly, slightly wobbly ones. That's a slight skip, I guess. Um, let me try and do this again. Bam. And then you can head on top and just skip to here. Like that. And then you go up here. Or you can go the long way and do that to there and then up. Uh, you go over here onto this spinner and the next spinner and then the wobbly platform and then onto this. You can head over here and here and then we're onto the second floor. Let me just straighten up. Here are some conveyors. They shouldn't be too hard. And then another spinner. You just face this way. Uh, then some kill bricks. They don't kill you uh, that fast, so you shouldn't have to worry about them too much. Then just head across these. Uh, just there. This one can be a little annoying, but you can do it eventually. Uh, over here, the spinners. And watch out! These platforms fall, so just quickly do them as you can see they fell uh, you can do first person and keep your mouse on the thing but I'm not doing that right now and head across here and then oh what oh that's just a box and then inside the box there's a ladder uh, and then the button to activate all these. So, boop. And now they're activated. <laughs> then we go over here. Bam, sham, alam, damn, wham, etc. Bam, another button. Another button to activate all of these. Now we go over here. Then onto these ones. Head up here, then over here, then onto this, this, and this. Uh, the trusses are just there for your safety. If you are very, 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 very like, Wait, one, two, three, four, five, six. No, you can't do that, never mind. I was gonna say, if you're good like extremely good you could do an 11 or 10 to 11 stud wrap around 
that that's way more than 12 and 12 is the maximum jump distance in Roblox. So you can go over here, bam, then to the left and head this way. You can go straight down to here, bam, button activated. Then over here, then onto these like so and like so can we no we can't skip up to there so ooh, that was close all uh, right we have to go there and either do it that way or we can get onto that and climb um just head across these ones ooh, ooh, wait let me just bam 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 and bam and then here is a zip line just hit that and you should get onto there. The next zip line is not too bad as well. Just do that. And then just head on these. Zip line. Now we have to uh, go back. So to go back we just well go head this way and then onto this one bam then this zip line again bam and now as you can see these are all activated so we can just go like that and head around them then jump onto these what's the point of these oh okay we can just head like this and you can jump on the ladder like that and across then we've done that button bit. Ooh, I, that was annoying. Um, then across here, across those ones, that one, very unstable. Uh, here, 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 here. Then we can just jump onto this and across the tip top of those. Head around these um, and then onto this this one you can just walk across to the other one and then but this one you have to jump there we go jump down and we're jumping back up Ooh, a spinner here we go and then we get on to the next bit then the next bit and then this zipline bam and then this uh, ladder you're now halfway this ground will catch you if you fall. Also, notice the time has changed. Oh yeah, it's slightly darker. <laughs> so, we can head um, to the right over here. And up and up. And this, moving platform. So, can we make it? Yes, we can. So, heads over here. Make sure not to jump back down there. But, over to this part and you can just jump onto there and the next ladder so we head over here then this spinner we need to get onto and then another spinner and then onto this then we head onto this push platform to the end and then onto these and these wobbly ones then a conveyor. It's not too bad because it helps you. These are falling ones, so be careful. Nice, those are all activated now. And then we head back. Oof. These are pushing ones. I really do not. Oh, I could have walked across all of them. Doesn't matter. Right, here we go. Then we head onto these spinny, spin, spin ones, spinny, spin, spin, spinners. Um, as you can see, there are all the towers. Now over here, this is the balloon. We need to head over there. So just step on it and hold forward. Bam! Oh, we just missed that moving platform. Let's wait for that again. Where to go? Oh, there it is. 
So we just wait on this one and then get to the very other side. And these are also conveyors, so just be careful. And there's a balloon that helps you go up to there. This balloon, you need to head down to there. And make sure you don't stop holding forward, otherwise uh, you will... Um, what to do with this balloon? Whatever, let's just pop that by pressing the space button. Then these pushing ones that can shove you all the way out. So just be uh, cautious of them. Then we need to fly over to these. So just do that. What's that noise? I don't know. But let's head over here. And then get over this one. These wobbly platforms. Then this timing one can be a little tricky. But you'll get the hand hang of it soon. Like very soon. Uh, get up there. Oh, these are pushing ones, so make sure they don't push you off. Uh, bam. Again. Bam. Whoop. Oh my gosh. That one was pretty close. If I do say so myself. Here's a push platform. Just jump. And then these ones shouldn't be too difficult because they don't kill you very fast. Here's a balloon. You have to head over there yes so we head over here bam and then we just go up these shouldn't be too much trouble these are elevators there are these elevators will carry you up as long as you are in their reach so as you can see bam 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 they're jumping me up as you can hear uh, there's some annoying sounds up there. Those are like turret type things. Here we go. These just help you across. Then jump in this. And just time it so that as soon as you st hit the thing and go up again, you do that. And then conveyors. Then uh, the truss. These ones don't push you off. You still should avoid them though so you can just walk straight through them uh what does this do oh okay these bu the bullets from these turrets do not insta kill but it's best to avoid them as you can see it hurts me slightly uh, you can j just walk through them and then you do these ones don't fall out here or else you will have to start all over from the beginning. Then here. Here is a mechanic that to uh, Tower of Annoyingly Simple Trials did not teach you. This is a push box spawn button. It spawns a box that you can, well, push around. Try pushing it to that button over there. So you just bam. And then just hold forward with the push box and there we go. We can head over here, like this. Then there's a con couple conveyors. Just make sure to time them well. You can stay on them for as long as you like. Here's some thingamabobs. Watch out, the red things can destroy a pu push box. So, we don't want that. So, we just avoid them. Bam. Oops, I accidentally pressed chat instead of the arrow, the greater, uh, one of the sides, the less than or greater than. Uh, here we go, and then push it this way, up to that button. You can't push that button by yourself though. Uh, go around that, otherwise it will despawn that button, a uh, box. Now these are activated, so we can just head around. These are loose platforms you should treat them like they are falling ones for now as you can see they wobble bam 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 it's not that hard but it can be a little scary 
Use a vine swing. Jump onto the rope and you will be attached to it. You can jump off of it too. They usually won't be this thick though. Bam. So you can hold forward and back. Bam. You head to the next one and next one and right there. Then these jumps. These are beat blocks. They turn on and off every beat. Hence the name. Time your jumps well. There is ground to catch you below since they are pretty tricky to do. Bam. Boop. Yep. So you just gotta keep track of when they go. Bam. 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 And then we're across. Finally, these are memory platforms. They give you some time to see what they are and then turn invisible. Don't worry, these ones don't stay invisible for as long as others. So you can just head to there. And if you want, you can only go uh, during the time that they're visible. But you can, if you would like, go while they're invisible, as I am doing right there. Collect all four keys to move on. And there's four different paths uh, that you can go to get the keys. So you can just jump there, grab that key, then head back over to the door and be like, BAM! Then the next door. We get these pushing ones. We can skip two, I think. Bam and bam and bam. Then this one, this one, these two, these two, and then that last one, and then head over to the door. Bam. And then, do not trust the transparent stuff. So, well, that's obvious because th th those are transparent. So. Obviously you'll fall. Bam, 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 and across that, grab the key and head back. Make sure not to fall, otherwise you will have to go all the way back to here. Uh, you go to the green, bam. And then lastly, the yellow. <clears throat> These ones are pretty easy, you just hold space and you can just go through them with ease get the yellow one and then head all the way back and all the way to this door and voila BAM alright then we head up these ones welcome to floor night you're almost there so we just head on these ones, they shouldn't be too hard for you, then just zoom in, and then you can go across this tightrope, what, is that a skip, I think that's a skip but I'm not gonna take that skip. Because I want to show you guys how to do it properly. Uh, so we go here. I think these are head hitters. Bam, 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 and there. And then these wobbly platforms. Oh my gosh, those turrets are annoying. Then over to here. Why is my chat open? And then put it over here, across. And to there. Then these spinny ones. And then next there'll be some falling platforms, so just watch out for them. Then some conveyors. You can just take that one there. And another tightrope, so you can either zoom in or get out of shift lock. Hold right click and look where your mouse is through your character, and if it's onto the tightrope, then you're fine. I don't trust that. 
so I will go over here. Uh, just avoid them. Yes, I was right to not trust it because you couldn't do it yet. I thought it was like a really obvious skip, but it's not a skip. You have to go touch the button first, and then there's this zip line, and then the push block, and then blocks that push you off. Let's just wait for that. What now? Um, oh yes, this platform right here, you just jump onto that, wait for it to take you over here, and then get this balloon, and take it all the way here, and then just jump over here, these ones shouldn't, you shouldn't have to zoom in or do anything for them, you just jump over them because it's so thick. And then over here, you are at the final stretch. Keep going. Um, these are elevators, so just time them well, and you shouldn't fall. Like this, and then you just head around these. Shift lock comes in handy a lot. Alright. So they just don't push you off. That turret's going to be annoying. You can just walk through it. It doesn't do much damage. So there we go. We're at the ladder. Is this a push box? Of course it's a push box. And then over here. Like so. Then head this way. Oh my gosh. Over here. Then head forward. Sorry for that. My Discord's open. I forgot to close that. So over here. And then all the way over to here. Uh, I'll be back in a second. So I am back. Now we're back to the push box. Push it over here, like so, then head around the side, just make sure you don't fall when turning. And there we go, the button to activate these. Like so, you just go across them, then head across this one, and here is the tight thingy. So you just gain some momentum, then across like so like a bit more moment momentum because I don't feel like the first one was all right then the spinny spinners that spin and then over here the third one and then jump onto these trusses here's your final challenge a simple platforming while dodging a giant killer brick spinner good luck all right so should be pretty self-explanatory just jump across these you don't have to worry about the spinner unless you, you will take a while to do this then actually try and dodge it because the longer you take the more it will damage you and the faster you will die Ooh, a wraparound half stud wraparound then we just head up here and here is the wind brick BAM congratulations on beating the tower there are more towers ahead of you 15 towers in this zone alone good luck and then what does this do can we like click any of them no doesn't look like it and then just head over to this and it will take you back to here I don't know why it killed me. Should have just teleported me. Uh, if you enjoyed, please like, subscribe, and hit the notification button to get notified when I make a new video. Thanks for watching, and see you all next time.